Do you think that cookies are a good way to celebrate America's independence? I think so, but I know in other countries the chocolate chip cookie is called the American cookie. This might as well be wrapped in red, white, and blue, yeah. maybe. It's actually July 4th weekend, which means one thing and one thing only. America. I actually don't have any plans to celebrate July 4th. Like I celebrate it, I support the country, but like at the same time, I don't think I've ever celebrated July 4th, other than maybe eating like a glizzy, slurping down a glizzy on July 4th for the boys overseas. That's what I like to do. <laughs> other than watching the fireworks or a glizzy, I don't really know how to celebrate. So I guess this video is just gonna be like a weekend in the life of me. And then I'll just take you along, you know, and we'll do some things together because I need a friend. Like I don't have friends, so you guys, are gonna be my new friend. Let's go. Yes. Let's talk about July 4th for a second. The real significance of the holiday is, you know, um, it takes a village, you know? I do wonder though, like if you went around and asked people what the significance of July 4th is, if they would even know. What does July 4th celebrate? That feels like the right question to ask. July 4th has been celebrated as the birth of American independence. Let's be honest, dude. If you don't know what it stands for, you're pretty... Whatever. The fireworks are cool. What are they? What is it? What I don't what am I looking at? I don't know, but I like it. Uh probably won't watch the fireworks. So something that's been like stressing me out like majorly. I know this is like an insane thing to be stressed out about and absolutely really has no significance and means nothing. Is that I have a hair appointment scheduled for this upcoming Wednesday. I don't know what to do. Do you go through this where like Oh, Jesus. Do you go through this like where you don't know what you want to do with your hair? Like I, like I've been growing it out now for about a year. I mean, I've had haircuts. I don't know what I want to do. I feel like at this point, it's become like a part of, <laughs> of me to like have longer hair. It's not like, the quickest, easiest thing to have. It takes longer to shower. It takes longer after you shower. It's a problem when you go outside. But then at the same time, like if you, if I cut it, then I just wasted like a year of my life growing it. This is stressing me out to a point that I can't even explain to you. Cause someone will be like, oh, I think you really should like cut your hair. It's getting a little bit ridiculous. And then someone else will be like, oh, I love your hair. You're nothing without your hair. So then I'm like, oh wow. like. I'm screwed. And this is this is 100% first world problems and I understand that, but you know what? It's still a problem to me. It still matters to me. Okay. <laughs> All right, so today is officially July 4th. Because my brother and I don't have any plans, we needed to figure out something else out to do. And we're gonna celebrate our independence by going to get an American classic. Actually, an American staple, the cookie. Now, I don't even know if cookies were invented in America. They probably weren't. To be honest with you, they probably weren't. Oh, that's great. Persia. All right, so regardless of where the cookie was invented, I looked up the best bakery in Washington, D.C. for cookies, and a place came up called Leven Bakery. Now, I think this might be like a chain. I think they have multiple locations. I think the original one might have even been in like New York, but supposedly these are the best cookies around. The bakery is located in Georgetown, and that's about a mile and a half or like two miles away. It's like 88 degrees, but we're gonna do it anyway. We're gonna make the journey over there because how else do you celebrate American independence without the Persian staple of cookies? I don't think that made any sense. All right, so we're on the way to Georgetown right now to get the cookies. For those of you that don't know, this is my brother, Brandon. He's been my brother for 20, 20, well, he's been my brother for 23 years. He's 26, I'm 23. And so I was thinking as a good way to introduce him to the channel, Let's put him on the spot and ask him for some life advice. What is a motto that you like to live by? That's the way the cookie crumbles. Mm -hmm. That's the way the cookie crumbles. I feel like you just made that up because okay, you knew what we were going to do. My old sensei taught me this. Nothing is impossible with a willing mind. That's an Adidas quote. Mm -hmm. No, it's not, dude. That's what he told step me, Step your man. game up. You gotta step your quote game up. You had it hanging up. on the wall. You gotta step your quote game up. All right, so we just got the cookies. We couldn't eat them in there because there was no place to sit. And because it's so hot out, probably better to just eat them at home. We're gonna take them home and then smash some cookies. Let's go. All right, so we're all showered up because it's 100 degrees out and we were dripping. Ew! Ew! What the fuck? 
Ah. We got three different cookies. I asked the lady at the counter what the most popular cookie was, and she said their walnut chocolate chip cookie. That sounds pretty good to me. Uh, yeah. You nut guy? Find Am I a what? nut guy? Am I a nut guy? We're gonna find out live on camera. We got a chocolate chip walnut cookie, which is the most popular. We got a normal chocolate chip, and then chocolate chocolate chip. So basically, we got three of the same cookie to try, because this idiot won it that way. Okay, so not only are these known as like really good tasting, they're extremely big. What the fuck? Not only is it decent size, but look how tall it is. Like it's got some height, it's this, got some girth. This thing weighs about three pounds. Watch this. All right, so we're gonna try the regular chocolate chip one first. Let me see the bottom of that. Dude, the bottom is burnt, dude. That looks perfect. All right, so I gotta do the Instagram rip for you guys. Oh my God, it's soft. Yo, I saw your thumb go in. That's crazy. Let me see if I can get this on the camera here. Oh, wow. dude, look at that. That was a terrible rip. Oh my God, it's just so heavy, I can't hold on to it. Yo, relax, guy. Three, two, one. Oh my God, this is so much chocolate. <laughs> I believe I can Bro, look at how much chocolate is in there. That's the best cookie I've ever had. I need another bite. Hands down, hands down. Put your hands now. Oh my God, I'm sweating. All right, so what are you giving that out of 10? I mean, that, 10. actually maybe we shouldn't give it a grade until we go through, through all, all of them. them. Yeah. All right, so this is the chocolate chip walnut. Dude, this thing weighs four pounds. It's a walnut. Holy. Oh, dude. Oh, oh you made, I a, made mess. a mess. All right, here we go. Three, two, two one. one. Actually, wait, if you look at the inside of this one, it's like slightly undercooked like a, a little bit. Bro, it's gooey inside, bro. It's not even cooked. Bro, I'm done. Bye. I'm done. Is that one better than that one though? No. I still think that one's better. Regular than chocolate chip is better than the chocolate chip walnut. Was yours doughy? Yeah. Dude, it was like not even cooked. No, I like that. This is still number one. So far, two of the best cookies I've ever had. <laughs> All right, so the last one that we're gonna be tasting is chocolate. Do I have anything on my face? No, neither do I. Crusties. Yeah. <laughs> you just got some crusties. Chocolate, chocolate chip. Well, let's taste this. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. Oh my god, bro. Oh god. Yo, oh my god. I think I just bit in the head. That's really mm -hmm. It's like a cloud of chocolate. It's just oh all chocolate. This, I got no complaint. This is where I'm at. I think if you're going for best overall cookie, yeah. it's this. Because this, this is, is a regular this is a chocolate cookie. chip. I got a cavity, I can feel it. <laughs> you said if you want a normal cookie, you go with that one. Mm -hmm. If you love chocolate, you go with that one. Who are you if you go with that one? Like a little extra surprise in there. If you like surprises, go with the chocolate chip walnut. All right, so rating, what are you giving it? 10. 10? Can you give it 10? Yeah, 10, nine and a half, nine. I don't know if I can give it 10. Like, I feel like, wow. well, I just don't know. There's always room for improvement. So, nine, oh, you're the Dave Portnoy scale. Yeah, so I'm gonna nine, go, eight. this is a nine, five. Okay, fine, nine, five. This is a nine, this is an eight, five. I agree. Yeah, I could eat this all day. I could eat this all day. We what? shouldn't have done this. What? God damn it, it was so good, dude. Oh, cookie. Hold on, hold on, fuck that.